Hello guys. So today uh, I will be uh, talking about AWS Hands um, Serverless Hands-on Lab, um, yeah, which is our third session uh, on the webinar series uh, powered by SG Innovation. So in this session, um, I will be mostly talking about uh, one specific service from AWS, uh, which is um, AWS Amplify, which is fully AWS managed serverless service, uh, a framework kind of uh, to develop web and mobile applications uh, with AWS uh, let's go deeper into it um, which is uh, uh, it will mention all the requirements and um, the facilities uh, provided by AWS Amplify you can see uh, you can use uh, AWS, AWS Amplify for um, react view or other any other JS related framework uh, iOS development Android development and even Flutter development so this is uh, pretty much uh, comfortable for all of those uh, platforms and it is the uh, most um, uh, popular uh, web and mobile development tool uh, for web developers nowadays uh, uh, these are the four uh, core services which is provided by uh, ws amplify um, uh, because of its a huge amount of libraries uh, and the CLI support which makes it more easier to uh, create uh, application backend um, uh, with the CLI workflow and uh, uh, its built-in Amplify console gives it an uh, overall um, configuration settings for your backend and even uh, hosting your frontend uh, uh, making it as a full stack web, web development um, application um, from AWS uh, the newest update from Amplify is that it is supporting Amplify Admin UI um, as a CMS service for uh, managing your contents of your uh, application. So you don't need to worry about making an admin site for your application to update data. You can use uh, Admin UI uh, to uh, update your contents for your uh, frontend. So this is one of the most uh, newest uh, update from AWS Amplify and it is pretty much adaptable easily there is a very less learning curve uh, for AWS M Amplify uh, admin UI I will provide uh, some uh, most important resources uh, for AWS Amplify uh, you could visit all of them uh, to have deeper understanding uh, about AWS Amplify uh, the biggest uh, uh, discord community for AWS Amplify uh, is uh, mostly helpful for uh, beginners uh, as well as um, intermediate and advanced level developers uh, with Amplify and it requires more uh, you know R&D time and uh, uh, to have a learning curve on daily basis to build something awesome so this is where you know it comes uh, to have an uh, AWS send Amplify sandbox account uh, so that you don't need to worry about AWS account you can use the sandbox account to build your application test it out and then when you deploy them you can use um, actual AWS Amplify AWS account to deploy them and uh, you don't need to worry about costs or billing as well on sandbox so this is one of the most uh, popular service from Amplify Apart from this, I would suggest to go, uh, you know, make uh, Amplified documentation your best friend. Uh, it would help you, uh, you know, to um, have a better understanding uh, about Amplified framework. Um, it really helps uh, to have a, a deeper understanding about all the services and the facilities given by AWS Amplify. <clears throat> Join all the communities and uh, have access for all of those resources uh, provided by Amplify. This is really important to have a kickstart for your uh, learning uh, about uh, AWS Amplify. So yeah, this is how uh, you know you can uh, have a you know, boost uh, while you know going for a new framework or uh, learning about a new tool from AWS. Uh, this is where I will be talking mostly about um, the common workflow uh, or uh, the pipeline for uh, given by AWS Amplify. This is one of the most um, commonly used pipeline uh, from AWS Amplify. You could modify them, this pipeline, but this is uh, pretty much uh, pre uh, this is the standard one uh, for AWS Amplify. So what it does, uh, it will be uh, uh, hosting and delivering your uh, web application or mobile application um, 
connecting through your uh, code base from your repository as a source and uh, or else you can upload your files directly to amplify a console and then after having these uh, code base it will uh, help you configure the build settings so what this build setting will be doing it will be uh, configuring your front end as well as your back end uh, as per your need uh, like as per your fr uh, framework uh, the frameworks mentioned here uh, it could be react view or other js related frameworks along with other mobile uh, development platforms like ios android or flutter so for all of those different platforms you could uh, configure your build settings there on this step uh, uh, for both front-end development and back-end development uh, and then when your build setting is, is uh, completed you could deploy your application directly uh, through amplify console which is pretty much uh, hassle free because of its uh, you know dynamic uh, um, triggers uh, uh, if you use any repository so you don't need to um, deploy your code changes every time you push your new change it will get automatically triggered uh, to deploy your changes for any specific branch uh, so this is really handy and um, uh, it supports uh, you know dynamically generated CDN for your application so you don't need to worry about uh, configuring and connecting uh, CDNs uh, for your content uh, to deliver you know uh, globally um, to your end users it is fully managed uh, by MWS Amplify and this is where the all the magic happens uh, when you don't need to worry about uh, those server side configurations you can only focus on uh, you know your uh, application functionality development and this is uh, why it is called uh, AWS serverless uh, service uh, you don't need to worry about your server you will only develop your application feature um, uh, with AWS Amplify now I will be showing you a sample uh, AWS solution architecture uh, for serverless application development with Amplify where um, uh, uh, we will create a GraphQL API along with uh, a DynamoDB data source uh, which is a NoSQL database um, and then uh, we will also create a REST API from API Gateway and uh, that API Gateway will be uh, communicating with Lambda uh, to uh, execute your business logics along with uh, if there is any necessity of you know connection uh, getting connected with our DB service as well so those uh, all these things we will be um, uh, doing uh, on our next hands-on and uh, I will be giving you an overall idea about uh, how you could create this GraphQL API and then how you would be connecting it with uh, DynamoDB and then how you will create a REST API and uh, communicating with Lambda and DynamoDB itself uh, to run your application uh, to develop your application backend um as well as our front end develop for front end development we will be following this pipeline uh, to uh, connect our repository build our uh, configuration and then deploy our front end uh, through amplify uh yeah this is pretty much it and um, if you uh, need uh, no more information about these you could go through these links it will these all these links will give you a clear idea about where to start how to start and um how you could enhance your knowledge on aws amplify um yeah this is it i'll uh, just try to attend in our next session which will be mostly conducting about the icd development uh, with amplify so yeah looking forward to have you all there feel free to uh, ask any questions uh, on comment section if you have have a good day